<laughs> oh crap, I'm missing co cooking with home team. Hey everybody, it's time for Cooking with OT! Hello boys and ghouls, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Home Team. Today we're going to be making the national dish of Hometopia, Dutchman's Mess. This dish comes down from my old Grammy, who got it from her old Grammy, who probably got it from the Vikings, I don't know. So if you like German food, let's get ready to Deutsch it up! The ingredients you will need Potatoes Tomatoes Sauerkraut Onion Bacon Butter And salt and pepper The supplies you will need A large pot A medium saucepan A regular pan A potato pillow or a knife A potato masher A cutting board A colander A wooden spoon A small spoon A large fork A large bowl A cover for said large bowl and optionally a bacon whack. I know some people like to cook on bacon wax, other people just like to cook it in the pan. First we start with some potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. It did... No wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't follow those instructions. <clears throat> start by washing your potatoes and if you so desire, peeling them. I personally like the flavor of potato skins so I like to keep mine on. Or if you want to get really fancy, Peel the potatoes anyway and include the skins in the recipe. Cut up the potatoes into large chunks. Put some water in a large pot and then turn the heat on high. Once the water starts to boil, be very careful and add the potatoes. Gently now, then boil for 15 minutes. Pro tip! If you put a wooden spoon on top of the pot, it'll keep the water from boiling over. This is because if the water and the bubbles do rise to the top, the spoon will break the surface tension, releasing the trapped heat and causing the water to settle back down. Always proceed with caution. Science! After you have boiled the potatoes, go ahead and put them into a collard. A cauldron. A thing that you use to drain things. A colander. Jeebus, my brain is broken. I probably shouldn't have eaten all those fire crackles. They've been giving me willy willed headaches. Anyway. Give the potatoes a minute or two to drain, and then transfer them into a large bowl. And then mash them babies like the buttons on a game controller, and show them Tato's who's boss. Just be sure not to go too psycho. After committing potato side, cover the bowl to keep the heat in. Next, we add a can of diced or stewed tomatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. It where did I get that saying anyway? Something about hobbies were involved. Anyway, warm the stewed tomatoes in a saucepan. Which, oh, we at it. Why are they called pans? They look like pots to me. Sure, they got a long handle like a pan, but clearly because of their depth, they are pots. Anyway, put the tomatoes on medium high heat and stir continuously to prevent burning. Stow until thoroughly heated. Then transfer to the scene of the crime to add that lovely splash of blood red coloring. We cover to prevent the police from finding. Next, we... Next, we add the sauerkraut. Add a wee bit of butter to the pan and let that heat over medium-high heat for about a minute. Then add some hefty helpings of soured kraut. Careful, as it will make steam. And a stench. A disgustingly delicious stench. Gently stir around in the pan to prevent burning. Cook the sauerkraut until nice and browned. Then pile on with the west. And now, the onion. First peel, and then dice the onion into little tiny bits. And then, well by now, you know the drill. Eat now the piece de resistance. It, how do you say that in Deutsch? It's in cooking with French, you know. Now we add the most important part of the meal. Bacon strips and bacon strips and bacon strips and bacon strips. Cook the bacon as directed on the package. If I'm not telling you how to do it, you gotta learn to do these things on your own. I'm not gonna hold your hand every step of the way. How do you ever expect to make anything of yourself if you always make Then, after letting the bacon cool for a little bit, crush it as you would your enemies into little bitty pieces. 
and sweat all over the top of our mixture. But not your enemies, just the bacon. Putting your enemies in our mixture would just make it taste funny. Add the bacon grease for extra delicious fattening flavor. This also helps to keep the potatoes from being so dry. Give it a good mixing. Add salt and pepper to taste. And solve. And behold, a mess fit for a Dutchman. If the be of the winking age, a good cold one makes a nice accompaniment. Now you too can enjoy this savory dish. This has been Cooking with Home Team. As we say in Hometopia, shut up and eat your food already. This has been Cooking with Home Team.